everybody. All right, look, again, we're at the craft table. Swan's here, ready to make some motherfucking craft. So I was a 90s, early 2000s kid. And during that time, <laughs> there was amazing, amazing amounts of craft kits and it was like sand art and I had this one called pretty petals where you like twist wire and like put some weird paint in the middle and then you peel it off the plastic and then you twist the petals together and you make flowers and they were scented and there was all kinds of like sticker coloring kits and fuzzy posters and all that stuff and that's what I spent my childhood doing some kids were smoking cigarettes at 12 and I was coloring in posters and playing with sticks not much has changed. I was thinking that I wanted to go to Walmart and go into like the, the kids craft section and see if these like craft kits were still in production. And oh my God, they did not disappoint. This is a motherfucking bath bomb making kit. I love bath bombs because I like to take baths because I'm lazy. Poor man's jacuzzi, just getting a, a nice toasty bath. Let me just read this to you. Fun, fresh, educational kit where science meets style. Nerdy is cool. <laughs> Learning is fun. <laughs> and individuality is key. You can be fashionable and a super cool scientist at the same time. So it's it's nice that they're putting a, an emphasis on the science part, though I'm not sure how scientific making a bath bomb is, but hey, what the fuck do I know? It's probably scientific as hell. Without further ado, I, I think I'm gonna make and test some bath bombs. So I also went ahead and brought in some of my own glitter because your girl likes glitter. And I have a feeling that they're not gonna have enough in here for me. Eh. Ow, hurting myself. There should be some instructions in here. Here's what you'll need. Small round mold or faceted diamond mold. Okay, these are the molds they, they provide. Glitter, optional. Water, not included. Okay, so I need water, why didn't you tell me? Bowl, not included. Measuring cup, not included. What the fuck, you didn't give me anything, bruh. Teaspoon, not included. All right, so the majority of what you need is not included. Jesus. Okay, we got bath bomb mix. Includes citric acid, Epsom salt, and cornstarch. And then we have a big thing of baking soda. Resealable. So then when you're done making bath bombs, you can put it in your fridge to get the strange foot odor out of the fridge. <laughs> it's not strange, mom. You can't leave a casserole in the fridge for a month. It starts to smell like a foot. No one's gonna eat it, okay? I'm sorry to tell you. Yes, you slaved over it, and now no one's going back for seconds. Throw it away, mom. Fragrances, okay, we got strawberry and we actually have cotton candy. Okay, all right, so the magic powder is the coloring agent. We have blue, purple, and pink. They be showing green on the box, but they don't give you no green. They should have just given you primary colors. What were they thinking? So now I have everything that it has asked for. Mix all of your dry ingredients together in a bowl. Add one fourth teaspoon of magic powder color of your choice into the mixture. Oh wait. I skipped the step. And pour two tablespoons plus one teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. That was a weird way to say that. God damn, man. They expect your dad to open that for you. Well, joke's on you. My dad's not here. One, two. Now we're gonna add one bath bomb mixture packet. Mix thoroughly with your hands to break up any clumps until ingredients are evenly blended. You're asking a lot of the kids, especially since they're both white, so how the fuck am I to know that they're evenly blended? Just taking it on faith that they're blended. I can't tell the difference, it's all white. Oh, that smells kind of weird. Feels kind of weird. It's so weird as an adult to get your hands dirty. You know, cause like you spend your whole adult life trying to unlearn what you were taught as a kid. As a kid, everyone's like, yeah, get your hands dirty, get in there, kid. Then as you get older, everyone's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? It's time to be an adult, stop getting your hands dirty. And you're like, all right, all right, chill, 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 chill. My adult instincts are telling me not to put my hands directly in this and to use a spoon. Tip, you might want to switch out your hands for a stir stick. Why can't I just have used that to begin with? So what I'm gonna do is break this up into two bowls because I wanna do two different colors. Try to see if that's, uh, trying to make it even. Okay. 
You say stir sticks and shit, and you didn't give me anything to stir with, bro. I'm using the back end of a paintbrush. Ooh, that might have been a lot. Right, this kind of just smells like it's like chalk. I'm gonna make the other one blue, I guess. What was the next step? Oh, now it's the glitter part, which, not gonna lie, pretty excited about. I think it tells you how much glitter you're supposed to use, but I'm just gonna use however much I want. Let's be real. Cause we making a freaking glitter bomb at this point. Ugh, the smell of this stuff is kind of gross. Like not gross cause it smells bad, but just weird to be inhaling so much of it. That's a lot of glitter, Sarah. Scoop one half teaspoon of coconut oil and add it to the mixture. Okay, add 20 to 30 drops of fragrance? How can you really want me to put 20 to 30 drops? I'm going to put a fourth of a teaspoon in each of these since I broke it in half. When does the water part come in? Didn't they say I need water? That doesn't seem like enough coconut oil. Ew, it's really thick. I guess this is the one time when thick isn't a good thing. Yeah, get off my finger, ma'am. I guess we're gonna put 20 to 30 drops of fragrance. So I guess I'll just put 10 in each one of these. We'll do cotton candy. Un, do, toi, cat, sank, cease, set, we, enough, dis. Un, do, oh, that was kinda un, do, toi, cat, sank. Cease, set, we, enough, this, okay. This was not wanting to come out. It should have been like liquid coconut oil, man. This shit's all solidified in junk. Ooh, I should have maybe microwaved it. Cause that's not mixing at all. Okay, awesome, not mixing at all, wonderful. Oh, look at this, they even said that you can put the oil in the microwave, I should have done that. Damn, I'm stupid. Add a half a teaspoon of water. You gotta remember, oh God, oh God. If the mixture starts to foam, you are adding water too fast. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. Forgive me. I'm not a kid. This is for kids, okay? They're better at this stuff than me. Like how is I supposed to know I was supposed to do it slow? Oh. <laughs> It says to do it slow, so slowly sprinkle the water into the mixture. Okay, all right, all right, I was wrong. I'll admit it. It's like moon sand now. Y'all know what moon sand is? Ooh, I dropped some, which probably isn't good. Oh, God damn it, Sarah, learn from your mistakes. I'm too far in, I gotta keep doing it. Okay, well, this situation is supposed to be for children, but I'm telling you right now, I have made such a fucking mess. And I mean, I followed the instructions pretty well, and the main thing I'm having trouble with is getting the mold, like the two halves of the mold to stick together. Um, so like I have one in a mold right now. I. Like, I feel like I'm doing it right. I'm pushing together it really hard. I mean, it's a diamond shape. It's fitting that I'd have to squish it together with the intensity of the earth. But, so I think I'm just gonna have a bunch of half bath bombs because I have one over here that's just half a circle, which is the first one I made. And I mean, it's like compact. it was a whole diamond that'd be even fucking cuter I don't know exactly what I'm doing wrong oh god like I'm sure I'm doing something wrong like I don't want to blame it on the thing like I'm dumb enough that I probably did something wrong but it doesn't change the fact that I'm a 25 year old woman I'm an adult and if I am not doing a good job reading these instructions I don't think that a kid is gonna do a much better job. I mean, they're probably gonna ask me, their 25 year old mother, or their 25 year old aunt, or their 25 year old sister to help them. 
and then they're still gonna have the same problems. Actually, maybe the 25 year olds in their lives are more responsible and better at instructions than me. Yeah, I should stop assuming everyone is as dumb as I am. Sorry guys. I'm not gonna say this is a disaster, <laughs> but you know, didn't go as well as I was hoping. But we are gonna test at least one of these bath bombs, so we are gonna take a bath. Okay, I have my half a diamond. And I think I'm gonna do the half a diamond because I put a lot of love into this one to try and make it look like a starry night sky and I hope when that glitter erupts, because I use a lot of different glitters, I hope it's gonna look the way I want it to look. Uh, my bathtub is not the cleanest bathtub. I mean, I wash my dog in there. What do you expect? That's so glittery, look at it. Look how glittery it is. And that was sort of anticlimactic. But look at that glitter erupt. <gasps> look, it's everything I thought it would be. Look, I don't know. That kind of looks like a bunch of little ants. <laughs> Let's see what kind of eruption that makes. Hmm, wonderful. Definitely, definitely not BS. Hi, dog. Is that bath bombs? Are you interested? It's like, oh God, look at all that glitter. Wow. What do you think, Shushi? Yeah, you probably don't want to put as much glitter in it as I did. My dog doesn't approve. Do you hear that? She's crying. My dog does not approve of what I've done. No, seriously though, I think I put too much glitter in it. I think I put too much glitter. I'm gonna be washing glitter out of this tub for like months, probably. I mean, that's a lot of glitter. <laughs> Look at it, it's everywhere, ew. No joke, you guys, I have mellowed out as an adult, I know that that's hard to believe because I'm still so ridiculous, but if my parents had bought this for me for like Christmas or something as a kid, they would have killed me. I've made such a fucking mess. My bathtub is full of glitter. I used way too much glitter. I don't know what I was thinking. Look at my craft table. What is this? Like, look at the mess I've made. <laughs> the mess that I've managed, like, look at just what I've managed to do. Like, I'm a grown woman, please remember that, please. I'm a 25 year old woman in a poncho with a messy craft table because <gasps> I tried to make bath bombs as an adult. I don't think I did a very good job doing that. What do you think, Chigi? I don't think that was a very good job. No, mommy was stupid, huh? That's normal though, mommy's always stupid, hey. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Stay crafty. Okay, you can click all my little buttons. You can click my subscribe circle or the video or playlist that's listed below. You'll also find a link to my Patreon where you can support me if you choose to. I love you. Bye.